Let's talk about the upcoming game between Manchester United versus Brighton. I'm going to go over some of the things I would like to see from this game. First off, starting with, I think Xerxes has to start this game. After scoring his uh, first goal for the club against Fulham, it was a great finish that you just you know, seen from a natural striker. Um, I think we need that kind of presence in our box in order to score goals. I know Ten Hag has, pl has been playing a false nine, um, just seeing Bruno Fernandes and Mason Mount interchange between the, the, the 10 position and the false nine position. Instead of seeing that for this game, I'd rather see Xerxes start. Um, he just provides more, more of a threat in the box. And he has that height, that physicality, and I think that's what is going to be very important for us against Brighton. Next point, I think uh, the Lit has to play over Maguire in order for us to establish a high line in the game. Uh, I know Harry Maguire has been playing pretty good recently. He had a good season last season and over the Euros he was pretty good but at the same time I don't really think his qualities suit the way we want to play and if we continue to uh, choose him over the lit that would just it's just like starting um, like with a, a system that we don't want to play and I don't know why Ten Hag would want to do that. I feel like Ten Hag should just play the lit in order to have that system. And I think just starting the lit now, we're just, you know, just getting him in the team, giving him some playing time will help him. And giving the lit the time he needs is important uh, just so he can get to know the players he's playing with and form a, um, just a relationship with the rest of our defenders. Uh, next, I think we have to drop underperforming players. Um, and I am alluding to Marcus Rashford. I know he has, is, well, he is a important player to Manchester United. But right now, he's just, I don't, I don't think he's in form. And Ten Hag has just been picking Rashford in case of the chance that he does score. And Ten Hag is hoping that if he does eventually score, that will boost his confidence. But I feel like Ten Hag has been waiting on that mo moment for a little too long. And I feel like it's just hurting the team. And right now, we just need to be starting players who are in form and who have that hunger to succeed. And that takes me to my next point, which is playing Ahmad, Diallo, and Garnacho. Those players seem to be more up for just getting balls into the box rather than going for an in individual goal. And I feel like that just helps the team function more fluid, fluidly. So I think starting them is the right choice to go with. Um, Ahmad Diallo had a good preseason, and even though he didn't have the best game against Fulham, we sh I feel like we should still pick him in order to not drop his confidence and let him know that he has the time to, to develop. And we have been picking Rashford for a while, so and we have been giving him many chances, so why not give Diallo those same chances? Uh, and same goes for Carnacho, who got the assist in the Fulham game. Um, it was a great assist, and I feel like we need to be seeing more of those kinds of passes into the box, and especially to our strikers, uh, whether that's Xerxes or Hoyland. 
And then my next point is uh, Mason Mount is a good player, but he has no place in the starting 11 from what I can see. Um, Mason Mount, in my opinion, can only play in the attacking midfield position. Uh, I feel like he does have the, the energy to get back and help in defense. So if we do play him as an eight, then, you know, he, he will get back. But at the same time, I don't think that's his, I don't think he has the, the traits to defend and help out with the, the defense. And we also have Bruno who's playing at the 10 position and Bruno is the captain so I don't see Ten Hag dropping him and Fernandez does have those moments so I think just having him in the team is important to secure some points and then my last point is that I support Eric Ten Hag but at the same time he does need to be criticized from the fan base. I still think he deserves time because he has been winning us trophies. He has been developing a team, introducing young players. And I think that even though he has done all those great things, there are things that he has to work on, such as, you know, dropping certain players that don't perform and getting yes a better sense for when to make substitute substitutions in the game and also just just having more of a plan with the play style and yeah I think that for this game Manchester United will end up winning um but it's gonna be a, a tough game because Brighton are a club that has been developing well and they do have a new manager but they always seem to have a good system a good group of players so it is going to be a, uh, a tough game but if Manchester United can is get it, get their their selves up for the game and Ten Hag has the right plan and starts the right players, I think Manchester United should be able to get the win over Brighton.